We have arrived at Sandy Beach Campground in New Hampshire. Let's get to it. We share the best camping locations in the USA. Hi guys, we hope you enjoy the video. Check out our RV and camping related gear at our Amazon storefront. Link in video description. Hey folks, I'm Lou from Living Our Dream Now and there's a few things I want to show you on Google Maps before we get into the campground review. I'm going to cut to my desktop now. Okay, folks, what you see on your screen is Sandy Beach Campground. That is the pin for Sandy Beach Campground. Uh, right over here, Melody and I came down Interstate 89. We got off on New Hampshire Route 127. And there's a few things that I'm going to take you on the ground and show you uh, in, a, in a few video clips. I'm going, to, I'm going to start the video clip right here at this covered bridge and uh, kind of guide you into the campground. There's a few things that are confusing if you're just uh, following the GPS going into the campground. So um, I want to do a little transition here for you so you know what was coming. And uh, I'm also going to take you over here to Pontecook. This is a, a cute little town. It has a, uh, uh, a mobile station where you can tank up with diesel fuel. You'll need to be detached if you're, if you're going in um, to get diesel fuel at this gas station. It's not big rig friendly, but if you just have a tow vehicle and you want to take your tow vehicle in there and gas up, you can do that. There's a grocery store that Melody and I went to. There's a laundromat, Dunkin' Donuts. So I'd take you down there just briefly, show you the town. And so, in fact, I'm going to show you that clip first, and then I'm going to start at the covered bridge, give you some pointers there. I'm going to show you some dash cam footage guiding you into the campground. Colonial Village Supermarket in Conacook is where we went for groceries while staying at Sandy Beach Campground. And there's a mobile station with diesel fuel just down the street in Contacook. And a Dunkin' Donut. And there's a laundry mat right next to the Dunkin' Donut if you don't want to do laundry at Sandy Beach Campground. And this plaza is located approximately three miles from the campground. That's the direction you may be coming from. That's uh, New Hampshire Route 127 North. Uh, the way you want to go is south on 127, New Hampshire Route 127. You're going to make this turn and head up that way. You do not want to turn right here uh, at the covered bridge if you have a big rig. Really, any RV of any size to get to the campground. Because the height clearance is 9 foot 9 inches. It's a cute covered bridge. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to hop in the truck, turn the dash cam on. I'm going to show you how to get into this campground. And Melody and Milo are with me today. Where we're picking up New Hampshire Route 127 South. This is the direction you're going to be headed if you're coming from the interstate to get to Sandy Beach Campground. And there's some confusing intersections that we ran into on the way here, and that's why I'm showing you this damn ca dash cam footage. We're going to be going over top of a dam right now. That was a hydroelectric station back there by the covered bridge. <laughs> Going over top of the dam right now. Route 127. 
this is the intersection that gave me a little pause because if you take a look at that sign, you can't really tell which way to go to Sandy Beach. It's like right in between the two roads. But you want to hang a right here, go down the hill. And if you look off to the right, I'll nose in here. That's that same covered bridge. We're just going to continue along this road. There's one more intersection up here. It's marked no outlet. You just want to stay on the paved road. You're going to bear to the left. Sandy Beach Campground. It's going to be on the left hand side up here. So it is close quarters in this campground, and we, uh, we had to back up and let these couple of RVs through. Not enough room really to get uh, an RV and a vehicle side by side through the entrance. Melody and I stayed here at no additional cost using our Thousand Trails membership. Okay, well, Melody and I are back at the campsite. Uh, we just backed up in here and we're going to take you on a walking tour and then we'll come back to the campsite and we'll do our closeout for this video from our campsite. Behind me is the laundry room and off to my left is the game room. Uh, you can actually access the game room through the laundry room. So come on, I'll show you what I'm talking about. We we'll watch your step coming down. You have two steps there. It's a very small laundry room. You only have two washers and two drivers. Two dryers. It takes quarters to wash and to dry. Um, there is a sign on the wall in back of me. Please do not wash your dog bedding. So let's go into the um, game room. So over to my right is where the laundry room is. So while your laundry is being done, you can come in here and sit. They do have some games and some books. And behind Lou, you want to turn the camera around, Lou? You do have a pool table. Okay, you'll see the sign for the office off to my left. And we're actually going to walk over to the office. And that's where you'll check in. So let's head on up to the office. Okay, the office is right up this hill. So Lou, why don't you follow me so we can show everyone where the office is. Okay, when you arrive, you're gonna to go to the, um, to the, in this direction, around the building, and then you're gonna pull in front of the office where you'll go in to register. Yeah, that's actually not a bad looking site right there. A lot of people were pulling out today. This is Sunday. Got some cabins right there. Once you come around the building, you're gonna pull up right here in front of the office and then go inside to register.
Behind me are the restrooms and each shower is individual so you have your own privacy. Maybe this is where they show movies? We heard a movie playing last night. Last night was Saturday night. I wonder if this is where it was occurring. Anyhow, they have a screen set up and the lake is right to the rear you can see a little bit of the lake behind the screen and that's where we're going now all right hon let's take them down to the beach this is a little walk away leads down from the office down toward the beach To the beach we go. There is a really nice lake right behind me. Um, I hear the water's warm. I'm not going in because it's a little chilly today. They do also have a basketball court and a really nice playground for the little kids. So check out this. Check out the playground. They do have a dock here, and this morning we did some, see some little kids fishing off the dock. They were with their parents, too. Check out this temperature today. It is a little chilly, and it seems colder when the wind blows. Just to let you know also, no dogs are allowed on the beach or in the water unless they are a service animal. So, do you think the swan is real or is it fake? You be the judge. Okay folks, if you guessed that the swan was real, da da da, you were wrong. This looks like a pretty decent site. Let's walk over and check out to see if it's 50-30. Um, Fifty thirty. It is fifty thirty, and all sites have um, electric, water, sewer, and cable. But the cable you have to pay for.
the site I just showed you was C16. Okay, we're back at the Y that leads to the loop of work camp. But before we go back in there, I just want to show you this is site zero through six. And uh, these sites do have hookups. They're flat sites. These were all full this morning. Uh, these people pulled out. This is a nice looking site right here. D5. You get a pretty long rig in here. Let's see what kind of hookups we got. It looks like you got your sore right here. Water is on the post. Right here. And we do have 3050 amp electric hookups on site. D5 and all these should be the same. But this gives you an idea what you're looking at. Looks like they even left some firewood. Okay, folks, so changing plans. Um, uh, I, I came back up to where our campsite is. I got the truck and then I went down and picked up that firewood. A thousand trails folks came by and said, hey, you want this firewood that's sitting in the campsite? I said, sure, we'll have a fire tonight. So those of you that uh, aren't familiar with our new Durango half ton fifth wheel, that's it in the center of your screen. We're in site D12. This makes a loop. This is a uh, this road makes a loop, and we're like in the middle of the loop. So site D12, you got this little rock that sticks up. So you have self-leveling jacks. You have to watch because that's like a six-inch high rock that's sticking up. You got to watch that you don't catch one of those jacks because that will screw up your frame if you catch a rock the wrong way. But uh, we made it up in there fine, and Melody is sitting out. I've already got the firewood stacked up. We're going to have a good old fire tonight. There was a couple. This is a campsite right here, very large campsite. Uh, let's see. what. That's going to be D11. See D11 on the sign right there? So that, that uh, th these campsites are huge. Several of them in this park are huge. That's full hookups. Ours is a full hookup campsite, 3050 amp electric service. But after you get up on top here, um, you can get your rig, rig level uh, fairly easily. Here's a water. water right here. I'll walk you around this side. The cable hookup, you have to pay for cable. Oh. Melody and I don't depend on cable normally unless we're going to be there for weeks at a time. Um, but there's the cable, is 50. 30 amp electric service, new looking boxes. Thousand Trails is putting millions of dollars into these electric service upgrades. Here's the uh, campfire, what I got. Courtesy of the folks that left it. So we'll have a good old campfire tonight. It's a very spacious campsite. Um, there's probably, oh, for transient sites, maybe eight, 10 good sites where you can get a big rig in. Some of the campsites are wonky, but uh, we're real happy with ours. Um, and so Melody and Milo over here, and this is Melody's part of the video. Whew. It's 
So let me get the camera adjusted for Melody and Milo. And you're up, honey. Hi, guys. We enjoyed our stay here. It's been very, very, very quiet. Tonight we're going to have a fire, so we will be sure to show you some clips from our fire tonight. Um, would we stay here again? I think we might. Um, we really like our sites. It's probably one of the better sites we've had because we have so much room. Um, but yeah, I, th I think we would stay. So as always, if you like this video, like and subscribe, and we will see you down the road. Well, folks, it appears I haven't lost my touch. Ignition on first strike. Hallmark of a well-built fire. Okay, as promised, here is our campfire. Tonight at Sandy Beach Campground in New Hampshire. Very first campfire with the new KZ Durango half-ton fifth wheel. And the smoke is keeping the mosquitoes away.